Welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I am here to review Down the River Unto the Sea by Walter Mosley. Um, now, if you followed my channel for any length of time, you know I love Walter Mosley's Easy Rollins series. I've reviewed a handful of those books on the channel, and then not long ago I discovered his Leonid McGill series. I reviewed that book, ended up buying all those books, and now I've discovered he's got this other series starring King Oliver, and this is book number one, came out in 2018, and there's even a fourth series that he's written, the Fearless Jones series, which I gotta get those books too. One of my favorite writers, Walter Mosley. So we're going to end up reviewing probably all of his books on this channel eventually. Let's talk about the cover first, because you know I love graphic design and cover illustration. I don't think it gets any better than this. This is just a sharp-looking cover. I love everything about it, from the subtle gray tones to the yellow typeface. Wrap around, just great-looking book altogether. A plus to the publisher for making us a sharp looking book. Now this is just pure coincidence, folks. This is the third book I've read in a row that deals with the same thematic issues. And if you watched my book reviews from yesterday and the day before, you saw that I reviewed um, Robert B. Parker's Looking for Rachel Wallace yesterday. The day before that, I reviewed I'll Be Watching You by Charles DeLint. The, both of these books had thematically the same sort of thing going on as this book, and that is um, women's issues, um, men behaving badly, um, misogyny versus feminism, and uh, both books take a deep dive into these, uh, all three books take a deep dive into these subjects, and it's just randomly that this happened, that I ended up reading these three books in a row. I didn't plan it. I didn't know what any of the books were about, really, until I... Uh, started reading them and it just so happens that they are so let's talk about this um so king oliver he's an ex-cop he used to be a cop but he lost his job sort of in a me too type of uh you know the old me too movement uh he kind of got me too in fact he was me too to the point where uh, he was accused of sexual assault whilst on duty and um was thrown into prison, Rikers Island. Um, and like I said, this is a good, uh, uh, that's the start of the book. And we know that he was falsely accused. Um, we know the situation that happened and we know that he was falsely accused. He knows that he was falsely accused. Um, he was NYP, one of NYPD's finest investigators and uh, now he's in Rikers Island prison for this false accusation. And Walter Mosley does a great job of just kind of delving into that subject of not only Me Too, but of uh, false accusations. And it's a very, 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 very excellent commentary on how distrustful, um, how, how people distrust the cops, how, um, especially in places like New York City, how most cops... Uh, really do care about their jobs and it's a dangerous job but yet the society as a whole at the time this was written just hated all police all police were scumbags lying trash and he really kind of delves into that and we get to see that from king oliver's perspective because he does look back on his career as a policeman with great fondness because he really felt that most of his colleagues were good dudes. Uh, however, he knows he was falsely accused. He knows that it was probably one of his colleagues that set him up. And so he's kind of conflicted. Like, uh, were we really good people or not? I mean, who really is out there watching society if I'm not out there doing it? So a decade later, he gets out of prison. He becomes a private detective. Um, he's got a young daughter, and he wants to help protect her and raise her, and they've got a great relationship. However, he's suffering a lot of PTSD from his time in prison. 
and the PTSD just from the fact that he can't trust the police anymore uh, because the, he believes that the police set him up. But he's got no way to prove it until the pivotal moment in the story, which happens pretty early on, and this is not... I'm not giving away spoilers here because this... This thing is, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the dust jacket notes here. So this pot plot point is right in the notes. So even if you read this book, it, it would, if you read the dust jacket notes before you, was, you, you'd understand. He gets a letter, he gets the letter from the woman that accused him um, of uh, sexual assault. He gets a letter from her and she confesses to him that she was paid a lot of money to set him up in that situation. So now the rest of the book becomes a quest for justice. Now King Oliver is out to figure out who set him up, why they set him up, all of this stuff. And um, that investigation is going on at the same time he's also investigating this other thing where he's kind of helping this journalist out. The journalist was accused of killing two policemen. And he, King Oliver is sort of um, trying to help that guy out because that might be a setup also. And um, at the same time, he's trying to protect his daughter from various evil things that are going on in the story. And so we've got like three or four different sort of plot lines interweaving through this book. Very deftly, very delicately. And, and the, uh, the commentary, the thematic commentary on the Me Too movement. Um, how society um, felt about cops back in 2018 and maybe even today. Um, and uh, just all those things. It's just a great, great look at modern society and where we're sitting. Um, wrapped into some good uh, murder mystery plots stuff going on. I just really like this book. Gosh, I mean, I thought Easy Rollins was one of the great series of all time. And then I read the Leonid McGill and I was like, gosh, I like Leonid McGill better than Easy Rollins. And then I read uh, King Oliver and I'm like, I think this might be my favorite one. Because, you know, I, I can relate to some of this stuff where, uh, where, Easy, where uh, King Oliver's talking about his law enforcement career. And if you followed my channel for any length of time, you know, I've, I got 15 years in as a law enforcement career person. And so I get, I get the feelings. I feel the things that he's felt. Um, so I give this a 10 out of 10. This is almost a perfect, perfect book, um, in my opinion. Just absolutely great.